Principal Ferrari. Why are you sitting here? You see, Mrs. Williams finally gave me back my room. And you thought she wanted to throw me out. And she got rid of that hairy rug that looked alive? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Something isn't right. Oh, Nina, please. Did you see the present she left for me, huh? Maybe she wants to apologize. Yeah. Forgive me for saying this, but I think that Victoria Viper Williams is not the kind of person to give away gifts, not for apologizing anyway. There, I said it. Nina, really, nobody is scheming against me. Come on, be reasonable. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yes, yes, you warned me, huh? Nina. Now go, go. Thank you. Let's see today's news. Melcher School changes principal. Professor Strozzi is going to take the place of former principal Ferrari? I don't believe it. Well, you should believe it. But why? You know, when we first saw each other again, I was afraid that you would recognize me. I was to the point of giving up. But then I saw that familiar arrogant stare in your eyes and decided to make you pay for it. Once and for all. You must have mistaken me for somebody else. I don't ever remember meeting you before. Aw. No one forgets Victoria Williams. Settle down. Okay, everyone, it's time to crown the queen. The queen of the ball is Victoria Williams. Victoria Williams, I crown you as my queen. Queen of the school today. Tomorrow, the master of the entire world. Obviously! Absolutely! Hold it! Nobody move! We've discovered a fraud in the election. A fraud? Yes. I don't understand. <laughs> there must be a mistake. Yes. The mistake is that the queen of the ball <gasps> is not you, but her instead. Miserable, insignificant little teacher. You'll pay for this. No one humiliates Victoria Williams. So you bought the entire school to get revenge for something that happened 20 years ago. This is totally crazy. Crazy, you say? Yes. The most beautiful day of my life being crowned by the boy of my dreams, and you turned it all into a nightmare. So what? I am guilty of crowning the person who actually won, even though you committed fraud. Did she deserve it? Yes, she did. <laughs> I was clearly the most beloved and popular girl in school. Everybody knew that. No, you were intolerable. That's why nobody voted for you. Why am I justifying myself? You're out of your mind, and I won't spend one more minute in this conversation. Go on, then go. How interesting. Ferrari lost his crown as well. 